Welcome, today I'm joined by Athel Gooden, Product Manager and Rental Director at Blast One. Hi Craig, glad to join you today. So Athel, our conversation today is about the costing advantages and production differences on a water tank project using technology-based inspiration. Sure Craig, we have some valuable experiences now. I'm glad to share with the audience a recent example of driving down cost, reducing offline time and removing the man from harm's way. If we were to look at a traditional methods of surface preparation versus some new innovations that you've gained experience with, have you seen great sorts of impacts? Sure. We've seen some monumental changes in contractor <coughs> outcomes, both cost and environmentally. Environmentally? That's right, Craig. Hmm. There's been some exciting developments in the last couple of years that we've experienced significant reduction in reducing noise pollution and waste materials and overall costs in preparing surfaces. And I might also add to make the operator safer. Well, I think that sounds exciting. Can we have an example? Sure. Let's look at a 2,000 square metre water tank to remove a badly deteriorated protective coating from the external surfaces. This is a water tank, some 50 years of age. Yeah, that's right. In this case, it would be a fairly simple to manage project. With traditional blasting, you would simply set up the blast machine operators and some scaffolding. The coating is to be power rolled off the surface. So given that the cost of the operator of the scaffolding is probably 50% of the project, if we can remove those costs, then it's a profit gain. Plus the abrasive buy-in, and also the coating costs, it all adds up, and potentially can erode the profit margin that the contractor is looking to meet if things go wrong. <laughs> Such as, what could go wrong? Well, the multitude of examples from weather, neighbours, operator sick days, restrictions on hours work per day, even the number of days in the week that can be worked. You might be interested to know that on a 2,000 square metre external tank wall, we're able to see that removing these costings provides a huge benefit. Okay, so there's a natural element of potential cost blowouts. Sure. The example we have today resolves a lot of that worry. Okay, Arthur, that looks fantastic. What is it exactly that you're holding back? Well, we've learned in the last couple of years that there's some, a new way of doing things. With new technologies of the surface preparation process, we can now reduce air pollution, reduce waste material management, and also get the job done safer. Here's an example of a project that we recently worked on. Using remote control equipment, in this example, you can see that we would not need to have scaffolding for the surface preparation. The equipment is magnetically adhered to the tank wall surface and controlled from ground level. Mm, that looks like a massive footprint on the equipment. It's 500 millimetres wide. Wow. And you can see the clean quality, all with water. A concept was that a water jet application could be an advantage to reduce air pollution and minimise waste. Also, the cost of scaffolding was some $150,000. We proposed to save this value by utilising the Blast One Verti Drive remote control device. Verti Drive units would be employed for the purpose of environmental safety and productivity for the coating removal process. The first Verti Drive unit will conduct the coating removal requirement to remove corrosion, coatings, and surface contaminants. Connected to a 40,000 PSI, that's 2,800 bar, ultra high pressure water jet pump, this unit would move reasonably quickly across the surface, estimated at up to 40 square meters per hour, and vacuum recover the waste material and water to a ground level receiver. We're only using 31 litres per minute, so the 4,000 litre capacity interceptor would manage some two hours of recovery work. The recovered water would be tested for contaminants, likely to be disposed into the wastewater system from there. Mm -hmm. Combining the water jet cleaning equipment and also the Verti Drive remote control equipment, we could work much faster and safer. It also means that the man is on the ground and out of harm's way. But Arthur, is it true that there's probably some experience required with this type of equipment? Absolutely. We have certified operators. However, in this example, the operator is not on the scaffold. He's on the ground, manning the water jet equipment. We don't need to have much more than a certified water jet operator, which most businesses can access, on the equipment that can be rented and quite inexpensive compared to the productivity gains. So Arthur, what we're talking about now is a change in circumstances about how to cost the project 
as well. Is that right? That's right, Craig. Let me show you the difference on the job after we employ the equipment that we've discussed. However, remember that we still need to achieve surface profile um, for the coating to adhere to. Of course. That's why we simply changed the vertical drive unit from water jet mode to blast mode. We attach two or three blast nozzles to the vertical drive equipment, giving the ability to blast clean any residual paint and create the surface profile. On the slide here, we've calculated the cost analysis to show a cost saving of nearly 40%. And also that the project will be completed in a shorter time frame of 11 days instead of 21 days. Well, that's a huge step change in costs and also for reducing the number of days in the offline process for the tank. Yes, it appears to be the case where there is a significant benefit when we consider using technology to manage not only the hard work, but also to reduce waste materials and the impact that had on landfill. This is an incredibly well-proven system. And now that we've worked on numerous projects, we're confident in recommending this equipment to reduce asset maintenance costs, to remove the man from Harles Way, and with an improved surface to adhere to, ensuring a longer coating life to protect the asset. Well, that's great news, Athel. Thank you for your insights and time today, and hopefully we can move to a strategy rather than good luck on water tank projects in the future. Absolutely.